Okay, this is the easiest headband I know how to make, and it's also the only one I know how to make because it's easy. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, traditionally, you only need to tag your headband every few stitches, but it can sometimes create an uneven top. Um, some people like to do every single signature just for looks, especially in their exposed spine binding. Um, but since I'm not going to see it because this is a regular binding, it's not an exposed spine, I mean, it's going to look pretty good. So um, what I'm using, I am just using embroidery floss. Oh, doing book binding. Uh, if you're doing book binding on a budget, you can use it. Um, it's 100% cotton. Generally, silk is going to be best, your headband silk. Um, a lot of modern bindings have glued on headbands. Um, for the cord, you can use hemp or linen or cotton cord. I am using, because like I said, if you're, I'm currently uh, using whatever's around the house at the moment. Um, I'm using silk cord or silky cord. I think this is a polyester cord. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll get to it. Generally, you'd like to, you should stabilize your binding before you get sewing, but uh, I mean, I have a hard time getting my hands in between. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go into your first signature. Mm -hmm. And I have already glued the spine, so you got to be careful to whatever, wherever you stab it, that's where it's going. Okay, and then pull the needle off. And then pick up your white thread. Try to get it in the needle. And I'm using the same needle I used to sew the spine. So, And then we're going to go from the inside of the signature and then out. Just gonna find, and be sure not to sew through your, your thread or your floss. You want to sew next to it. So you okay. just went through the next signature? No, the, the first sig signature. It's, st it's the same signature. So Different hole? Same hole. Same hole. Okay. okay, so I've sewn in with my black from the outside to the inside into the first signature. I've pulled the knot up and then I've gone from the inside out through the same hole in the first signature. I'm going to pull that up a little bit and take my cord and put it through a little loop here. And I like to leave a lot extra just so I, we are going to trim it off later, so just so I have a, enough to manipulate. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up the white. So since this is embroidery floss, it's a little bit stringy. So I generally like to use silk more so. And I pull on both the black and the white. Like you don't want your cord to come down here on accident. So you want it to set right on top of your head. So pull both of them. And then we're going to bring the white thread up and forward and next to you. You don't want to cross it or go over. You want to put it right next to you your first white little bead there. You pick up your black and it goes over underneath your cord and you pull down. And I like to pull both tight. Right. And then you're going to wrap your cord once And make sure that, again, your threads are laying next to each other and not one on top of each other. And then you're going to lay the cord up. Take the white, wrap over and under the cord. Give it a pull, pull it tight. We're going to wrap the cord once, pull to the right, I don't want to overlap my black, and then lay the white cord forward, <clears throat> over the white with the black, under the cord, pull 
tight. <clears throat> You're going to wrap the cord once, pull to the right, lay it forward, over the black with the white, under the cord. Another reason I decided to use the um, embroidery floss is it's nice and big and obvious and really easy to see on camera. So, okay. So I like to do every other white bead a tag, so into the spine. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the white back on the needle and go into the fourth signature from the inside out. So this would be one, two, I find it, hang on, give me a second. One, two, three. And you do not want to accidentally sew in between pages. You want to sew in the middle of your signature. Okay? So we're going to go over the cord from the inside out through the fourth signature. <clears throat> go ahead and pull that up. And this is, again, to keep the headband in place. Some people like to do every signature, totally fine. Um, I would recommend that you do one at the beginning, the end, and a couple at least in the middle, depending on how thick your book is, too, dictates how many you're going to do. Okay, so after I've gone from in to out and it's coming out of the fourth signature, we're going to lay it up over the cord. And then take your black over the white down underneath the cord and pull to the right. And so what this does, the pulling to the right, it kind of makes something like a little braid or a little crochet chain on the top and this is kind of what keeps the dirt and the dust out of the top or bottom of your spine. Okay, so we'll just keep on going. You'll wrap the cord once, pull to the right, lay it up, over the cord. Make sure your threads are next to each other, not one on top of the other. Then over the black with the white, under the cord. Pull that tight. Then you'll wrap your cord once with the white. Lay it forward. Over the white with the black, under the cord. Pull that tight. Wrap your cord once. Lay it forward. Over the black with the white, <clears throat> under the cord. <clears throat> okay, now it's time for another tag. So I did the first one, I did the fourth one, now I'm going to do the eighth one. I've got 12 signatures, so my number is nice and even. I would say every four signatures is probably going to be, that's often enough if you're not doing every single signature. Okay. So 12. Get it now. Eleven, ten, nine, eight. Okay. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight. Sorry about this. Just want to make sure I get it in the right one. Okay. So this one is eight. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna go over the cord, down in our to our signature, coming out towards the spine. Sometimes it is a little tricky to 
Okay, so what you don't want to do, you don't want to go under your stitches. You want to come out on top. So what I'm going to do to make it a little bit easier is to very carefully find the hole. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we are. See, I've come out on top of the signatures, not underneath. Okay, very important. I'm sorry, on top of the stitches, not the signatures. Ooh. Okay. Pull our black tight. Okay, take our needle off. We're gonna come forward over the cord, black over the white under the cord. Can wrap our cord once and come forward white over the black under the cord wrap our cord once lay it forward black over the white under the cord wrap our cord once lay it forward white over the black under the cord okay we're gonna wrap our cord once my thread was getting a little bit short and then we're going to go in between our last signature okay we're gonna go from the inside to the outside Pull the thread, the needle off the thread, and we're gonna go under our cord with our black thread. And we're gonna tie this a few times. And we're going to go ahead and snip that off. Be sure when you trim the cord not to trim your threads and leave just a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit, like a millimeter, two millimeters off the ends. You don't want your silk cords to slip or your cotton threads to slip off here. Now we're going to go dab on some glue. Okay, I'm just using my finger. You don't need to get a brush dirty to this part. So I'm just dabbing a tiny bit of glue on the end because the silk cord, or the silky cord, the polyester cord is prone to unraveling. And then... Just like with um, putting your tails when you glue your spine, you want to put the little flyaways from the knot, mash it into your spine really good. Nice and smooth. Okay, and that is how you do a basic headband.